Hey everyone, are you looking for free Windows video editing software, maybe to make your first YouTube video, or you have a whole bunch of home movies from your holiday that you wanna to combine together, add some text and turn into a movie, and you've been searching around and everything's either very expensive or difficult to use. Well, today we're gonna to be introducing you to the free Windows 10 video editor that's included here within Windows 10. It's really easy to use and it's gonna be a great piece of software to get you started in making your first video. So we're gonna jump into that in just a moment. But hey, if you are new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Everyday and we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So please consider subscribing here. It would really help me out. Let's go ahead and jump right over to my Windows 10 computer, get right into this video editing software. All right, so here we are on my Windows 10 computer. One thing I do wanna show you before we open up the editor is I have imported all my files here for my video. So all my video files in the top left hand corner, there's this folder called Whistler and you can see all my video clips in here. I do have a couple of um, photos cause you can edit photos in this as well um, and incorporate them into your video. And I do have some music here that we're gonna be adding to our video as well. We're actually gonna be making a Whistler kind of commercial, just a 30 second quick commercial in this video editor tutorial. So that's what we're gonna be working on today. Now, in order to open up the Windows 10 video editor, there's a couple easy ways to do that. Because the Windows 10 video editor is actually part of the Photos app here in Windows 10, you can go ahead and left click on the Windows logo or the Start menu in the bottom left hand corner. And you can scroll through here all the way down to the letter P and you're gonna see the Photos app right here. You could go ahead and left click on that. The way I actually like to get into it is I will start typing in video editor here in the search area at the bottom. And you don't even have to type in the whole thing, but you're gonna see under best match, the video editor, you could click there, or the video editor app here towards the right. I'm just gonna to go ahead and click on that. And it's gonna open up the main screen or the loading screen for the video editor. Now, if you went through the photos app in the um, start menu, you might have to go ahead and click on video projects here at the top because you'll probably be in this photo areas up here. Now, once you've found this video projects portion of the software, all of your previous projects that you've worked on are gonna show up at this area down here at the bottom. So right now I only have one test file that I did, but if you had more, they would all show up here. And if you've got a whole bunch, you can sort um, how you'd like to search for them right here on the right hand side. So newest, oldest, alphabetical, etc. But we're going to go ahead and start a brand new project. And in order to do that up here in the top left hand corner, you're going to see a blue rectangle. It says new video projects. You can go ahead and left click on that. And that's going to load up a brand new video project for you. And it's the first thing it's going to do is ask us to name our video. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in Whistler video. You can name yours, whatever you'd like. If you do want to skip that, you can just hit skip here, but this is, um, I actually spelled that wrong. This is actually what the video save file is gonna be saved as later. Um, you can change it down the road as well. I'm just gonna hit okay there. And if you did wanna change that right now, there's a little pencil up here in the top left. You could click on that and make your change right there. Now let's give you a quick overview of the Windows video editor before we get rolling in editing. So first off, there is this project library area in the top left hand corner. This is where we will import all our video clips and pictures into here before we move them down to the bottom, which is our storyboard down here at the bottom. And the storyboard is basically the timeline of your video. So the order that your video clips and pictures are in this bottom portion is the order that they're gonna play in your video. Now in the top right hand corner, you are gonna see this large black rectangle and this is your player. There's a play button here, and this is where you would play through your video so you can watch it before we export it at the end. Down, back down in the storyboard here at the bottom, you are gonna see um, add a title card. We'll get into that in a bit. Text, motion filters. And as you add your video files to the storyboard, a few other options will go in here as well, and we'll get into that a little bit more. Now at the top, you're gonna to see a back arrow, which is very important if you made a mistake and you wanna undo it. You can also hit Control Z on your keyboard um, to go back. There's a forward button. 
There's background music. We're gonna get into background music and there's custom audio as well. And we're gonna add our own custom audio. There's finish video here, which is where you would export your video to make a file out of it when we are all done. So that's the main area here in Windows 10 Video Editor. Now let's go ahead and set up our project um, because we all have different aspect ratios. Maybe you filmed your video clips vertically. Um, maybe you wanna use them for Instagram or maybe they're horizontal in this um, 16 by nine ratio. So the first thing we wanna do is make sure that our project has the right settings. So in the top right hand corner, you are gonna see three little dots. And if you go ahead and left click on those, a little menu is gonna co come up here. And you're gonna see an option here that says 16 by nine. When I hover over that, it says 16 by nine. We could change it to four by three. So if maybe you're editing together old video clips from when you were a kid off your VHS and you've converted them to digital, you can see the aspect ratio is like an old CRT TV now. Um, so you might want that. If we go back there, we can go back to 16 by nine. But maybe you filmed everything vertically on your um, phone and you want to make your video in portrait mode. So if we click on make portrait mode, um, you can edit together your video that direction. So maybe you're doing a TikTok or something like that. That might be a great option for you as well. We're gonna just go back to make landscape and leave it on 16 by nine for our video. All right, so next up, we need to move into moving our project files into the software. So there are a couple different ways to import our videos and photos here into the editor. The first off would be to go ahead and click on this blue add button right here. We can click on that and we can click on search from this PC. This is gonna allow us to search on our PC. My stuff is on our desktop under the Whistler folder. So just search your computer and we can go ahead and import our videos this way. So if you want to um, just click on them and hit open right here, you could do that. Or you could hold down the shift key on your keyboard and use the arrows to highlight a whole bunch of them. I'm just gonna show you the first five right now and then I'll show you a separate way to import more files. So just select however many you want hit open, and it's gonna load them all right into the video project library here. Now, that's the first way to do it. The way I actually like to do it is to kind of minimize this, open up the folder, and move that to the side. And I like to just kind of highlight them here. We can't do our audio file. This is only video files and pictures. And then we just go ahead and drag them over and drop them right in there. So it's gonna um, bring them all in that way. That's how I like to import them into the video editor. So now you can see that they are all in here. If I hover over them, it'll show me what the file name is. And you can see they're all imported in here. But we need to go ahead and move them down into our storyboard in the order that we would like to view them in. Now, if we put them in the wrong order down there, no problem, we can fix that very easily. So there's a couple of different ways to do that. We can just grab them one by one and drag them down and just drop them in there. Or we can highlight them, just click on them like this. And you're gonna see an option that says place in storyboard right here. Just go ahead and click on that and it's gonna drop them all down to the very bottom in the storyboard and so you can watch through them. now. If they are in the wrong order down here at the bottom, do not worry about that because you can easily just drag them into the correct order that you'd like them. Um, if you'd like to move them around, it's really easy to do just like that. So um, you can move them around very easily. And that's how easy it is to get your, your video clips right into the storyboard. So now that we've got everything in here, you can see if I move this seek button back here, we can actually play through these clips and watch them. And you can hear there's background noise. So um, because we're adding music, we may want to remove that and we'll get into that. Um, some of these clips might be a little bit longer than we want. Um, you, can, you can kind of back it up right here, reverse or fast forward. You can see there's also an expand button here to full screen. So if you want to watch your playback in full screen, you can do that. The other thing is there's a time here. So it says 42.33. That means our video is currently at 40 
two seconds. That's a little bit long for what I like. So we're gonna shorten our video clips down as well. And at the corner of each of these video clips, you're gonna see some numbers. So it says 6.72 right here. That's 6.72 seconds for this clip right here. So you can know exactly how long each clip is. Now, just backing up one quick second, when we moved all those video clips down, um, they all get a um, folded down corner here at the top left. So if you are wondering which ones you've moved down to the storyboard, um, the ones with the folded down corners are the ones that have been moved down to the bottom. So just a quick note on that. Let's get back into editing here. We're gonna start trimming down all these video clips so that they're a little bit shorter because I don't want my clips to be that long. Like I said, we wanna have about a 30 second video, give or take. So let's go ahead and just click on um, any clip that we want to go through. And this is where video editing does kind of get tedious. You have to go through each clip one by one. So I'm gonna select this first one here of the Inukchuk in Whistler. And there's a couple different ways to trim these videos. Trimming is kind of cutting off the beginning or the end or both to make your clips a little bit shorter. So there's gonna be an option once you've selected this right here, it says trim. And you could click on that or you could just right click on the video clip and a little menu is gonna pop up and you'll see an option here that says trim. You can go ahead and left click on trim and that's gonna open up the trimming window for you. Now, while you're in here, there's a whole bunch of different options here at the top. You'll see text, you'll see motion, 3D effects and filters. We're gonna get into all those in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and go through trimming here and show you how to do this on a couple of clips. So if I go ahead and hit play here, you can see that it plays through the full clip. And again, it's 4.3 seconds long. That's a little bit longer than I wanna get into today. So we're gonna go ahead and grab these little handles here, there's blue handles, and you can slide them in. And as I'm sliding them in, you're gonna see a blue number in the middle there that shows you how long the clip is. So we can slide that back and forth. I'm gonna actually leave it from the beginning. I'm gonna grab the handle at the end and move this in to maybe about three and a half seconds somewhere in there. And now when I take this black circle all the way back to the beginning and play it, it's only gonna show us that three and a half seconds of video. From there, we can just go ahead and hit done. And the whole video length has shortened down. So that's how you would trim the first one. Let's go ahead and trim another one. I'm gonna just select the second one. And this time I'll hit trim here on the tab and open that up. It's gonna open up the same video. Again, we can play through it if we like. This is walking in Whistler Village. And we're just gonna trim in. We'll take a little bit off the end and or the beginning and a little bit off the end. And then we're just gonna go ahead and hit done. So I'm gonna go ahead and work through the rest of these here and trim them up. So I'll fast forward it here. And then we're gonna go ahead and move into rotating our clips. All right, so we've got all our clips that are trimmed out. And a couple of things I wanted to show you, we were gonna talk about rotating our clips. So if any of your video clips are the wrong direction, you could just select the one. And you're gonna see this arrow with a circle around it, kind of a circular arrow um, over here on the right-hand side. And you can just go ahead and click on that. And that's gonna rotate your clip. So no worries if you did film it in the wrong direction, you can just click that button to straighten it out to the correct direction. So that is how you would rotate your clips. Now, the other thing I do wanna mention, if you have a clip like this and um, you want to make it two separate clips, maybe you wanna move half of it to the end of your video, there's a button here that says split. And we could just go ahead and click on split, make sure you get the right clip is selected. And you can just find the correct spot here in the video. And in the top right hand corner, you're gonna see clip one and clip two. And if I just hit done, um, that's gonna give you the time where the split is. If I click done, it's gonna actually create two clips out of that and I could move half of it to later in the video um, or move it around wherever you want it. So if you do wanna split a clip into two, that would be how you would do that. I'm gonna just undo that because I do want them to remain as one clip. So from there, let's go ahead and show you how to create a title card. So 
wherever you want to create a title card, it's very easy to do. You can create it right before any clip. So I'm going to make one right at the beginning. And um, once you've selected the first video clip or the video clip that you would like behind the title card, you're going to see an option here that says add title card. And if we go ahead and click on that, it's going to create a title card for us. And that created it automatically at three seconds. And if we want to go ahead and edit that, we can just go ahead and click on it. We can click on the background button over here, over on the right hand side. And that's going to open up where we can go ahead and change whatever color we want it to be. Let's go ahead and maybe select this color. And we could go ahead and add text. Now we're going to get into text for all of the different clips as well. So we'll start out here with a title card. And if you wanted to add text, you just click on text at the top and you can just type in anything you like. Let's type in Whistler. And you can start selecting through these animated styles. And if I move this back, you can see when I push play, it animates it and brings it in. And there's all sorts of ones here. So an animated Whistler. There we go. And let's go ahead and I'm going to actually just click on that one and hit done. Now, I'm not going to actually use that in my video, but if you do want to add title cards, you can easily add them there. So if you do want to delete a clip, you can just right click on it, right click on it, and you're going to see remove this title card. And we just click on there. And if you did want to remove a video clip, you just right click on it and remove this video clip. So it's really easy to do that. Um, but let's go ahead and get into adding some text to our different video clips here. So the first one, this is Nookchuk. Let's go ahead and um, click on the text button here. And again, you can select it at the top here. If, if you've got it on a different option, we can select text. And in the top right hand corner, we can just start typing in whatever we like. So let's go type in summer in Whistler, BC, Canada. So once you've got your text in there, um, you can select whatever style you like. There's a ton of them and I know um, this video could go on forever if we go into every little thing. So I'm gonna just select this joy one here. And at the bottom you can select where you'd like it to go on the clip. So if I click on these, there's one on the left, there's one on the right. Let's make this one bigger on the bottom and leave it right there. Now, if you don't want the text to be through the whole video, you can adjust it here, which part of the video clip you'd like the text in. I do want it for the full video clip. So we're just gonna leave it like that, but you can grab these handles and slide them around. And then we can just go ahead and hit done here in the bottom right hand corner. And if we take this right back to the beginning, we can hit play and you can see that animated um, video or text comes up in our video. So we can go ahead and do the same thing for any video clips that we want to add text to. So I'm going to do this second one here, hit text. And let's say, let's type in discover the village. Discover the village. And I'm going to put that one off to the right. Hit done. We'll do another one. Hit text and grab a selfie. Whoop. Grab a cell, oh, I can't spell. There we go. Grab a selfie and we'll leave that one on the right as well. And you can go through all of these if you, if you want to add text to them. Maybe you only want text on a few of them. Mountain biking, we'll put that one on the left, hit done. And I'm just gonna fast forward it here as I go through the rest of the clips. All right, so we're all done adding our animated video clips. You can see them all popping up there. The next thing I wanna do is get into something called photos. So you can add your photos just as these last two here are in the video. So this one is from the ski jumps in Whistler and this one is just of the mountains. So one thing you'll notice with these pictures is they were taken in 
the four by three aspect ratio. So you've got these black bars on either side. And that's not great for the look of a 16 by nine video. So we can adjust these very easily. So just select whatever video or picture you're wanting to adjust. And you're gonna see this rectangle right here and it says remove or show black bars. And if we go ahead and left click on that, you're gonna see this option that says remove black bars. And what it's gonna do is um, zoom in on the video so it removes the size sides and shows just the picture portion. So if I click on that, you can see it zoomed in on the picture and it looks a fair bit better than this picture here with the black on the sides. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one as well. It's gonna zoom it right in and create um, a full 16 by nine clip out of those four by three pictures. So that's how you would do that. Now, these two are pictures and you probably look at them and go, hey, that's pretty boring for a video. So let's add some motion to these as well. So video already has motion, but we can add motion to these pictures. So select whichever picture you'd like to add motion to. And you're gonna see this option right here that says motion. And if we go ahead and left click on that, it's gonna allow us to add some effects. So um, motion effects. So zoom into center, zoom out of center, zoom into left, zoom into right, zoom out of left, zoom out of right, pan left, pan right, tilt up and tilt down. So let's say we want to click on this one here that says zoom into center and we hit play now. It's gonna slightly zoom into that picture, making it more visually appealing. It's gonna be a lot more interesting as this is part of a video. So let's do that for the other one as well. Let's make this one, we'll click on motion. And why don't we zoom out of this one? So if we hit play, you can see it's slightly zooming out of that one as well, making it look more like a video. And um, that's really handy to do in pictures. If you do want to have a little bit of a zoom effect in a video, you could add that to a video as well if you do like. So maybe this one we want it to pan slightly or zoom slightly into the right. It's going to be more difficult to see in video, but it is slightly zooming in on video as well. So that is how you would add motion to your videos and pictures for that matter. And I like to use those on pictures. Now, the other thing I do want to show you is um, something called filters. So let's click on this suspension bridge here. And if we click on this filters button, um, it's going to allow us to change um, some of the look of this video. So there's some preset things in here, um, like classic, you can see it brightens it up adventure there's pearl which looks kind of washed out iceberg denim brassy you can get into sepia inky so if you want to have a black and white type video energy joy loved and then some weird ones at the bottom pixel and arcade so you can have a lot of fun playing with those i'm going to leave that one i'll put that one on classic and we'll just go ahead and hit done and it's gonna save that video with classic. Now, one thing I should mention with this program that's kind of cool is um, you don't actually have to save. You might be wondering why we're not saving our project as we go. Windows actually automatically saves your video as we're working our way through it. So that's super handy um, as we're editing our video. All right, so we are done with filters. The next cool one is called 3D effects. So let's say that we, let's go back into this one that we just edited. We can click on this button here that says 3D effects. And it's gonna load up a bunch of 3D effects here on the right hand side. So maybe you wanna add some, maybe you're doing a personal newscast and you wanna add some breaking news. We can add, push play here and you're gonna see it's spinning breaking news there there in the top right. Um, that's not really what I want. Um, let's go ahead and search here in the 3D library. Maybe we want to add some smoke. Let's see what comes up if we search for smoke. Um, here's some smoke. It's loading that up. And we could add smoke in here if we wanted to. 
and you can actually have it animate. So we're just gonna have it hover. You can select whatever you want, adjust the volume of the smoke. There might be some sound effects. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, the smoke here, you wanna make sure that these sliders, if you want it through your whole video clip or just part of it, you can adjust these sliders here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and hit play here on that. And you can see that it added smoke to our video clip. And of course that doesn't really make sense for this, but you can add all sorts of um, 3D effects in your video using that. And I'll let you search through these and find whichever cool ones you want. There's some cool animated sun. Actually, this one's kind of cool. Let's just add this. Maybe fall is coming. You can have leaves falling from the sky. Let's leave that one in there for our video. All right, so we've got our autumn leaves in there. And so we've got, we've done our motion, we've done our filters, we've done our 3D effects. Now let's move into sound. So you can hear there's a lot of background noise in these videos. Um, that one had, a, had the river running through it. But maybe because we're gonna be putting background audio, we wanna turn off um, the sound or lower the sound in our video clips. Now, of course, if someone is talking, you're gonna not wanna turn that down. Um, you're gonna wanna leave this up. But at the corner of each of these clips, you're gonna see a little speaker. And if you left click on that, it's gonna bring up a little bar here, a slider. So you could adjust the volume or you could just click on the speaker at the bottom and mute it. And it's gonna put a little X in there. I'm gonna actually go ahead and mute it for all of these because I'm putting background music to this and I don't want all this other noise in this. So, and then these last ones, because they are pictures, aren't gonna have any audio in them. All right, so those are all muted. Um, let's move into themes. So we've kind of created our own theme with text, but they've got built-in themes here in this software. And let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So up in the top right hand corner where we selected the aspect ratio, those three dots, you can go ahead and left click on that. And you're gonna see this option right here that says themes. And if we go ahead and left click on that, it's gonna load up the themes for you. And you can go ahead and select these. Let's go ahead and select adventure and that's gonna and hit done. And it's gonna apply that theme to our video, including music. So when we go ahead and go back to the beginning, and this would save you a lot of time if you're trying to just put together a quick video and you wanna use one of those themes, that could save you a lot of time rather than doing each one individually. Um, but I like to do it on my own for each one. So let's go ahead and hit play here. And you can see it applied that theme to our whole video. Now, I don't really wanna do that, so I'm just gonna back out, but you can go ahead and play around with those themes. I'm gonna hit undo here, and it's gonna take that theme right off of our video. Um, next up would be to add music to our video. So let's jump up into background music. You'll see the option right here at the top. Let's left click on that, and that's gonna load up all the music that's included with the Windows 10 video editor. So you can hit play here on all of these. And then you can adjust the volume here as well on that. And there's also an option to sync your video to the music beat. So this will actually adjust the video length. If I hit done now, it's gonna adjust the video length down actually by a couple seconds. So if we hit play, it added that music um, to our video and shortened the video so it lines up with the beats of the music. I'm gonna just undo that. And let's go ahead and go into adding our own custom audio. And in the top right hand corner, you're going to see this custom audio. If you go ahead and left click on that, you're going to see an option here that says custom audio, add audio file. 
So you could click on add audio file and search for it on your computer, or we could just drag and drop it in. It's this dance 4 x that we're gonna be using. Just drag and drop your audio file in there. And it's gonna bring it right into our video. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, if you don't want your sound through the whole video, you can adjust what portion you want it here. So we're gonna have it through the whole video. Now, the other thing we wanna do, in the top right hand corner, you'll see your audio track. Click on the little speaker button there. And you can adjust the volume here as well. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so it's not quite so loud. And you can have that audio fade in and fade out of your video. So um, it won't come in very loud and it'll start to fade out at the end of the video so it doesn't cut off abruptly. So it sounds a little bit better when you do that. So now if we go ahead, let's hit done here. And let's go ahead and hit play. And you can see it added that music to our entire video. So um, we've got that in as background. And then at the end, it's just gonna fade out of the, of the audio when it's all done. And it's that easy to kind of add the music, your own personal music. Maybe you've got um, something very pre precise that you wanna add to your, your video. You can select that and put it right in there. Or for that matter, if you have um, an audio track, maybe you've um, recorded yourself talking, you could add that in that way as well. All right, so now that we've watched, you can watch through your video, make sure it's all good. We need to export our video so that we can share it or upload it to YouTube. And that's really simple to do. So um, once you're, all your edits are done, go ahead and click on this finish video button here in the top right hand corner. And this is gonna give you a few different options. So the highest is 1080p, there's 720p or 540p. I highly recommend doing 1080p. And we can just go ahead and click on export here. It's gonna ask us where we wanna save this. I'm gonna just save it on my desktop. And it created the file name as Whistler Video, what we created at the beginning. You could change that here if you like. And we just go ahead and click on export. And it's gonna start exporting that video for us. And once that's all done, let's go ahead and watch it. It pops up automatically for me and see what it looks like. And there we go, it is all done. If I shut that down and go have a look here, you'll see it's up here on my desktop, right where I saved it. A Couple other quick things I do wanna show you. If I go back out or reload the video editor, you're gonna see my project is right here. So if I did wanna make any changes, I can just click on it, make those changes and re-export the video file. And um, maybe you spelled something wrong and you need to make a change you can go in and change it and just re-export it. And it's that simple to create videos here on the Windows 10 video editor. So I hope this tutorial was able to help you out in getting started with video editing in the Windows 10 video editor. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're interested in leveling up your video editing, I've created a full tutorial on the software I use. It's totally free, it's called HitFilm Express. It's kind of one level up from the Windows video editor. You can check out that video. It's linked below in the description. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You will find all those links down there as well. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope I was able to help you out and take care.